Hello, my name is Dr. Lisa Nesson. I'm an equine ambulatory veterinarian with Iron Gate Equine Clinic in Madison, Wisconsin. Today I'd like to answer the question, what's the best time to geld or castrate your colt from a medical standpoint? This video is designed for general horse owners that may be buying or raising young horses. There may be specific breed regulations regarding when to geld your ho horse uh, and you should check with your breed association when trying to make this decision. So just a brief overview of the surgery. This is typically done on the farm under general anesthesia or under standing sedation. Most veterinarians do them with the colt down on the ground, um, but some do prefer to do them with the colt standing. So the testicles need to be descended into the scrotum. This should happen at birth, um, but some colts take a little longer and need uh, to be given some more time for that to happen. If they have not descended by the time they're two years of age, we consider them to be a crypt orchid and they'll need a more involved surgery than most veterinarians want to tackle on the farm. Um, they can be gelded as young as three to four months of age, um, but most veterinarians prefer to do them at six months to a year of age. So either in the fall of their weanling year or in the spring to summer of their yearling year. And the reason for this is because at that age, they have not developed the behavioral issues that may go along with being a stallion, so they're not um, typically trying to mount mares, uh, call to mares, and trying to breed mares. Some of them may be trying to breed mares by the time they're six months to a year. Um, they can have the mounting behavior at that age, um, but most of them are not capable of breeding a mare at that age but they might be. So you may, if you're seeing them start to mount mares, you should separate them from, their mare, from the mares. Um, and that would include their mother or the dam. Um, they also don't have the physical development of stall that stallions get in that they don't have the crusty neck that will come with age if you leave them a stallion longer. There is some one school of thought that says uh, colts that are gelded at a younger age will develop to be taller horses uh, physically than if they're uh, kept a stallion longer and that testosterone causes the growth plates in their legs to close at a younger age so they end up being a little shorter. Um, so that may be one consideration. Uh, management issues again, um, the older they get the more likely you are to need to separate them from your mares which can be become an issue um, as far as safety on your farm. Also if they get to be older horses uh, before they're gelded they tend to have more surgical complications uh, with the primary ones being excessive bleeding at the time of the surgery because the blood vessels and testicles are more developed and larger and as well as excessive swelling in the scrotum and um, penile area. So to recap, um, general recommendation as to the best time to geld your colt is between six months to a year of age. Remember every colt is unique so you should contact your veterinarian uh, to discuss with them any particulars regarding your colt or the breed that they are and any special complications you may need to worry about. Uh, prior to this procedure. And again, my name is Dr. Lisa Nesson. I'm with Iron Gate Equine Clinic in Madison, Wisconsin. Thank you.